place of close to the sinkhole. Wanted to know the location of select kindred, asking where they were. What do you mean? But they want to find us. They're hunting all of us. For select individuals to work in a mine. What? They're hunting us. They're to, to extinction. Up of what happened to you, what they did, what was said, and then I met him. The priestess turned to me with stubs in front of her gave me a choice. Damn it. The choice was either convert willingly or letting them bestow this brand on me as well as the collar, I suffer helplessly as Stubbs went after you again, and telling of what he would do. to be sorry for. They're not gonna stop, though. He won't be seeing stabs for a long time. You think that we can please them? The only thing I have is their word. However, when I took off my shirt and my hood, they captured 
stabs and lock him away somewhere, telling him that they would fight him a new woman. That you are to be untouched. You can hear him yelling throughout the halls as he was dragged away. brave, you know that. And I'll be damned if I can't find a way to protect you, Gloria. <sighs> I will protect you by any means necessary. I was so disappointed. Listen, I don't trust the cultists. The cultists don't fucking tell the truth. There's no way. So I'm so disappointed. Oh no. They also spoke. They spoke to Laqua. Deemed him to be useful. I was there. They did not harm him. And entertained a conversation with him. About what? Laquille is graceful in his tactics. More graceful than I ever was. He fished information out of them regarding their organization, their goals and ideals. Meanwhile, I was blinded by rage. The thoughts of Stam's getting to you once again, and molding me in that cell. Unbeknownst of what might happen. He urged me not to be a hero. The way I saw it, the choice was rather simple. You should have married Samuel, Dev. Wow. I... Do men love their ladies, wanting them safe, romantic? Listen. Listen, I was walking with my husband just, like, to the... Fucking, like, into the, the cafe we went to this morning. And, uh... Like, he, just, just the way, like, he stands and he always offers his arm to me and you just, like... I'm pretty sure Laquan lost respect for me. I'm pretty sure Laquan, I'm pretty sure Laquan doesn't have respect for anyone.
but uh just it, it's uh the sort of protectiveness and i see it in my husband is just constantly there the you know we have a lot of differences but the the kindness that he gives me is overcomes it all like so <laughs> did take you to the doctor, but I don't... There's something more than the... The, the brand and the wound, the stabs. So, like, I we went to a game shop, right? And I was talking about how, like, hey, you can only spend so much, like... And, like, just, just the little actions of, like, I walked into a shelf and knocked a bunch of stuff off of it because I'm, like, a drunk klutz all the time. I'm not usually drunk, but it feels like that. And, uh... Like, he immediately, like, I, I j bent down to pick it up, and he immediately, like, grabbed me, so, like, I didn't bend down. Is still alive out there, which I'm pretty sure he is. He holds a lot of information. Although I did hear him mumble to himself. Just you two. From what it seemed like, we were both in cages. And I could not get a visual on the choir. But I heard him, he called out to me. And I to him. And the choir probably thinks me a fool by now. Like, so he grabs my arm so I didn't bend over, and like he grabbed, like he, he stopped and took all the things I had to protecting over. those that you love, then so be it. today. It's great. It didn't frenzy today. Yeah. You just crawled into my office to die. And I don't know whether or not they should be proud or concerned. <laughs> well, Melodia was there with me, and then whatever she did wasn't enough. The blood didn't stop. So Gia came in to help me, and right behind her came Vogue too. And they couldn't get the bleeding to stop. It was really strange. <coughs> Why are you so angry? Do you want to die? <laughs> All right. I suppose he does. He was spared, and he chose death. Darkness comes. Always. Even got your friend killed. Asking me why the bleeding wouldn't stop, and I couldn't. 
couldn't tell because I don't know. I'm assuming it's the black. Something else to eat? Something fresh? Uh, I'll be fine for the time being. You want to go home? You want to stay a while? Let us go home. You didn't have to go through the trouble of doing this. What was I supposed to do? Just whip you in the bath? That's not fresh. I don't, I, I don't know, but I feel bad you going through all this trouble. I like killing things. Even if it's just humans. It's no trouble. I would kill cities for you. Lay all of the bodies at your feet. A knife for you. <laughs> A million times over. to feel all of this in the morning. Oh, fuck yeah. <sighs> you treated me, by the way. You said you left me at the uh, hospital. Magnolia. I did not leave you. I brought you to the hospital. Magnolia treated your burns and your stab wounds, but she didn't give you a transfusion, which is why I was like, the, the, I don't know. F fuck. I don't know. Transfusion would have been ill advised. I mean, I think we're specifically banned from them, so yeah. Indeed. Listen, Mag. <sighs> that would have more than likely put me in an alley grave. I, yeah, and. I had a fucking panic attack when. when. when Melodia used a thaumaturgy on me. I thought she was. Trying to give me blood and I'm having a fucking panic attack sitting there as well as Rook 2 over there trying to fucking feed me and Gia trying to stitch me up and I'm just Enough. freaking fuck out. Fine. I did Thank not eat yeah. any of them. Well, I, I mean, I, I chewed know. on all of them. I didn't eat them though. I didn't rip their hearts out or anything. It was great. Progress. I am. I am very proud of you. <laughs> Truly, I am. Go home and get out of the sun. Please. Listen, you're the one who likes this place. I would have gone to New Asgar. Well, I like this place too, but mostly just because there's a lot of people to kill in the big area. There's a certain tranquility about this place. If they're not all yelling right at you now, immediately. The sun does not do me any well. Yeah. Well, could have gone to the mountains where all the dead things are. Oh, I, I don't really think I had a choice in the matter as to where they dropped me off. No. My death oh. didn't have a choice oh. with this bloody corner. Even if I gave myself willingly. I think even if you didn't, they would have collared you. Gave myself willingly and I looked at an inquisitor and I said, was the collar really necessary? Oh, 
I do have some valuable information, however. They have a mine where they use certain individuals to find a specific mineral or, or an ore. That rock is what they use the necklaces for. Has certain properties that aid them in combat. The blessing is what they treat it as. I see it. Ready? Indeed. I would slaughter mm -hmm. cities for you. <coughs> this might be a bit silly to ask now. Do you think Bartholomew could whip me up some new clothes? I think I actually made a massive purchase of silks, so yes, you can absolutely have new things. They didn't give me a chance to pick up the clothes I had left there. Charging at me, thinking I was a cultist at one point. Yeah, sugar, red's a bad color right now. Sorry. Indeed. Have you seen a doctor? Yeah, I, d I just came out of the hospital. Candy. I'll give you one of my fruit jellies. <laughs> That's yours, my love. You like fruit jellies that much? I know, I do. They. Yeah. I don't know, they just. They're sweet. I'll see if Lawrence can make us some. <laughs> He tried giving me sweet rolls before, but I was... Today I learned a valuable lesson. About what? That my pride gets people killed. All I'm saying is if she's gonna give me the pussy, I'm gonna slam it like a donkey. What? Oh. Because that happens doesn't mean that she or that you and her need to know about it. She should have told him that I was gonna tell him since she didn't. Uh, the, 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 Salutations, you two. Oh, hey, it's good to see you. Gloria, Evelyn. Hello. But they, they really took you, didn't they? Indeed. Ah, oh, look, look. We're like Eskimo brothers, but with collars. We're collar brothers. He took you as well. When? Yesterday. Yeah, Pete the Chain. And did they brand you as well? Yeah, I'm in the club. I got a really nice back tat. Joy. Just like you. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. What he means to say is that he's happy to see that you're okay, Devlin. I'm happy to see that y'all both okay. Y'all should be glad rested. I'm okay as well, and I am very glad that you managed to make it out alive, Jesse. Nah, wrong. Anyway, yeah, the old man feels um, really bad. You're gonna have to talk to him later. He feels responsible because he felt like he left you when he said he'd fight with you. The old man. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> uh, the. Up. 
another conversation for another time. Yeah. I understand. Should come to tea sometime tomorrow, maybe. I think tea is long overdue. Yeah. You know, um, if you would add, like, chain through your collar and my collar and his collar, we'd be a walking triangle. Indeed, indeed we would. Although I don't uh, think that would happen anytime soon. I... You put Lay in the middle. It'd be... Shut up. It'd be like she's VIP or some shit, you know? What? What? I... <laughs> For fuck's sake. You never cease to humor me, Jesse. Please never change. Yes, he's not that funny. So, it... wait, hang on. There was a name that was mentioned when you were in this state. Fuck, what was it? J Boobies. No. What? Sorry. What was, was it? There was a name. There. Jester. Jester was the name. Is that how you would like to be addressed? Call me Guy or something, I don't know. Hey man, you know, something like that. Guy. You're going the same way we are, you're going home, right? Oh, Sebastian got found, by the way. Thank God. He's yeah, in room work getting treated. Okay. Surgery. Oh. Surgery. Yeah, they did something without his consent, I think. I, I feel without like consent. that's their, their big thing, is doing things without consent. But they, the way they acted, he shouldn't have been harmed. To be fair, I was making a sexual joke here. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, of course. Listen, it's 3.30 in the morning, we're all a bit slow. 4.30 in the morning for well, me, and I need sleep. Wow. Yeah, you should have gone to bed hours ago. Indeed, but you know, I was little preoccupied. But you got cultist. Did. It is 4.30, holy crap. Something tells me our stars align there. We're made for each other, dilly dally. Didn't you say I was not your type before? I'm confusing. Indeed you bitch. are. Unfortunately, I am happily taken and spoken for. Trust me, he knows it every day. Never mind. Uh, What's going on, Pink? It's uh, good to see you, Alaric. You too, and it's good to see that you're back on your feet as well. Indeed. Got the type of thighs a mother can love. <laughs> what? I don't know, it's 4 30 in the morning. Don't worry about it. We've ended smooth Come right now. Make it fast. Pretty extent, pretty hardly. <coughs> I. Evelyn is taking Lucinda back to Grimlock. Why? What happened? I don't know. I. We we did go through quite a fight. But, is she uh, alright? I don't know. I, I, we we got halfway through town and then Evelyn picked Lucinda up. So. I. We're going home. This is going to sound very cold hearted of me, but I've had one hell of a day, We're and I'd home. like to get some sleep. Indeed. Oh, it, it of course, is... of course. I'm just letting you and guys I know. I appreciate you letting us know. It's just. Four three three. It's stupid o'clock in the morning, and I need to go Indeed. to bed, and he needs to go to bed, and other people need to We've go to bed. We've reached points beyond smooth brain hours. We are now at uh, no brain hours. Yeah, you're, course, you're doing course. a little too much there, buddy. Come on. Jeez. Of, of, of course, of course. You guys heal. Take care of yourselves. I uh, just. Guy, you do me a favor and get out of my head, please, and thank oh. you. Elric. Oh, yeah, I know that, Mona. 
I'm on the TV. I'm on the doctor. I'll, ha I'll, I'll send her back to the manor when, when she fine. can. Fine. 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 If you can ask her, uh, I would greatly appreciate you. In all honesty, we might not even go back to the manor. Well. We might just stay at the penthouse. Yeah. Do you want to go to the penthouse? Yes, because that would be a lot faster. Okay. They are some, uh, somewhere in the same tree. That's about what I remember. Okay, no worries. Loving seizures. Yes, I good for you. <sighs> oh, damn, I just got hit by the sleepy. Like really, really hard. Like I was fine. Like I wasn't great, but I was fine. And then I get hit by the sleepy, and I'm like, I could just lay down Good. right here, and it would be totally fine, and I wouldn't question Good, it. Because I don't think I was letting you go the moment we both touched that bed. Yeah, no, nope, just gonna, <laughs> right there, just like that. Mm -hmm. Damn. This is gonna sound really weird, and like take it in in good faith that this is coming out of my mouth. But you make me want a spoon. And I am doing my job as your partner. out though and have dreams about you. Say that one more time love. The wind took your voice. I'm going to pass out and have dreams about you. I will more than likely be doing the same of you. Whether or not I keep my hands to myself is a different story. I what? pray that Mount Sanis isn't in there. Oh god. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Why would you say that? That's fine. This is your fault. You said that last time, and to comment on what you said, I love you so much. <laughs> I don't think I was capable of this. It's unhealthy, but you know, that's fine. Oh look, I have a bottle! Ah, I have no idea where that came from. everything to me. <laughs> you bring light to my world. Just as you bring tranquility to mine. Let's go to bed. It's stupid o'clock. Indeed. I'm so sleepy. Making me sad. 
if I wasn't really fucked up at the moment, I would definitely yeah. pick you up myself. No, do you now? Do you, you stop it? Naughty. <sighs> Boots, no, get out of here. Boots are dumb. I don't think you've ever seen my PJs. I have to be honest. PJs. <laughs> Pull your boots off. so much. It's fine, you definitely know what you're doing. <laughs> Why is it every time you lay back down, I lay back down? This is what? <laughs> Alright. Night, darling. Good night, Gloria. Rating wrap. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good night.